Hello, welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be showing you an overview on a program by iOrbit called Advanced System Care 6 Pro. The current version is 6.1.9 and in this video I'm going to be giving you an overview and a review on this program to show you what I'd be getting and what you'd be getting when you buy such a unique program that not only optimizes but also adds some security aspects to it as well. This will be one of two reviews I'll be doing with regards to the iOrbit products. The second one will be a review on the spyware malware aspect called iOrbit Malware Fighter. If you guys want to stay tuned, there will be a video in regards to that pretty soon. And that current version would be 1.7. After the review of Advanced System Care 6 Pro, I'll be doing a part two of that video showing you on how to get the settings right and how to actually use the program to allow itself to optimize your computer without you doing anything. So with no further comments, let's go ahead and get started with the program that we have here we have this whole interface when you get it set up you'll be taken to this screen called the smart scan with this you can go ahead and do some basic resources that you'd need to go ahead and clean up or you can move on more to the advanced settings that iOrbit likes to call the expert mode with the expert mode you will notice four tabs with the names called care toolbox turbo boost and action center now with care you'll have several options under itself that can be selected for the main screen each one has its own basic functions and if you want to tweak that function just move your cursor over the particular option and you'll see a gearbox if you decide you want to adjust the setting for each one you can click on the gearbox and tweak to your discretion so hover over here and all you have to do is just click and you can go ahead and tweak for each one that you select and then press ok once your settings are adjusted you may click on the big button to the program called scan right away you'll notice that the scan it'll start scanning for problems that need to be fixed. You'll have a choice to repair automatically or not. Also, if you want to step away from your computer, you can also shut down the PC after it's automatically repairing and just select here and it'll shut down just in case you need to step out away from your computer. And let's go ahead and fast forward this right now. Just so you guys know, you might want to give yourself a little extra time to go ahead and scan this because the defrag actually takes a little longer than normal. So give yourself time and give the computer some time as well. And so it looks like it's done right now. So before repairing, you'll notice that once the scanning is finished, there is a security rating that allows you to go and know the degree on how vulnerable your PC is. So it says on my PC side, it's medium between, you know, so-and-so security levels. So it would be advisable to go ahead and select repair. If you wanted to, you can select each one to see what is selected and what the problems are. So once that has been done, you can just click repair and it'll start repairing. When the repair is done, you'll notice a huge difference in performance and this is where the program actually shines besides the other multiple options you'll have in this program. It's always advisable to go ahead and restart your computer that way you'll notice the difference. So you'll see the results right here and once you go ahead and click back, we'll move on to the next one. Moving on to the toolbox tab, we see that we even have more options. They're great in their own way and it seems that iOrbit never missed a beat when creating all these options within it. The toolbox has its own very clean category to start with the clean optimized repair for the first rows that you can see and also the rows below it are essential and they are security control and advanced each option in the category will serve its own purpose and i'll point them out so the clean category it pertains to the junk that lays in your system waiting to be clean so as you can see the uninstall if you have programs or if you have toolbars you can go ahead and use that program i orbit if you have malicious you know programs or whatnot you can go ahead and clean those out and registry cleaner cleans out all the things that were used to run a program previously that's not there anymore this cleaner as a typical you know clean the thumbnail previews clean the the junk that's in your trash can and etc and file shredder is a typical you know uh, advanced disk cleaner so the optimize this portion consists of tweaking your system and freeing up some lag that may be bogged down due to default settings windows had for instance the smart ram which is right here you can use that to free up some ram that services or programs from the back background are running and taken up and if you want you can just press go and then deep clean and it'll clean your system internet booster varies it supports internet explorer 9 10 chrome and firefox and i do believe safari and startup manager does start up with a program that allows you to either delay enable or disable programs that start up while your operating is starting up so you have a choice of doing all those three right there now registry defrag also has the same 
same thing as defrag and it just keeps everything in a less of a bottleneck function and if you want to go ahead and use that that'd be advisable too. Smart defrag is the same thing it's a separate program so if you want to use that to further increase that hard drive runtime that you have on your hard drive it'd be best to use that. And Game Booster is a program that would probably be downloaded. It's advisable to use that if you plan on freeing up more resources for that task that needs those CPU and RAM resources. With the repair category, whether it be hardware or software in the system, this would be a place to start in diagnosing to see if there's any problems that need to be take place. For instance, if you have something that you deleted that was necessary to run a program or a service, it would be best to start there. Or if you have a shortcut fixer, if it's not working or if the extension is not as it should be, it would be best to do that. This doctor would be another start if you wanted to look in to see if there's any bad sectors in your hard drive and when fix varies basically with a bunch of services that you might need. For instance, once this pops up, you have a general fix, an advanced fix, fix the internet explorer, and fix media. What you can do is you can press scan and what that does, it just scans for problems that might arise or that you might be noticing. And I currently have no problems so I not need to worry about it right now. Under the security tab, if you suspect that something is wrong, where, where and whatever it may be, has a hold of your system, you can use this category to look into that. You can also use some tools to negate those processes or services that may be stopping you from experiencing a normal PC workday, such as System Explorer, Process Manager, Driver Manager, and iOrbit Unlocker. iOrbit Unlocker, especially if those malicious programs are locking down your program, this one would usually be able to unlock it so you can go and deter those type of services and disable and delete them and get them out of your computer so you can go ahead and continue running. Now under the control tab, thinking about shutting your PC down at a certain time or if you want info on what your PC consists of, you may even want to change some settings yourself. This category would be the best area to start in uh, gaining some control over your PC. In the advanced category, this category is much different than the rest uh, and for good reason. Let's say your program was disabled by accident or something malicious that you couldn't use to function that would stabilize your experience on the computer. With the first tool, you can use Advanced System Care without it being installed. In fact, you can take it onto your USB, um, use it without installing it, and put it onto a different computer with the same type of maintenance and optimization that you have and you've experienced on your PC. You may even just want to further look into your own system using the Disk Explorer to see a broader view of your system. And with the Advanced tab comes more of an experience mind. So be sure that you know what you're doing, and if you don't know what you're doing, it's always best to contact iOrbit, especially they have that 24-7 support when you do buy this program to get you more acquainted with this. Now, moving on to the Turbo Boost, let's go ahead and move to that. Now, Turbo Boost is something I do appreciate, and again, for good reason. If I wanted to free up some resources like RAM or CPU usage, I have to start here. By default, it's currently off, so what we want to do is we want to configure it. So all you have to do is just go right here. It usually goes to work mode or game mode, but game mode gives you more options. So it just takes you to the next step. You can go ahead and select the ones that you don't want, or you can just press recommended. I will continue pressing next. And also, the non-Windows services will give you some selections to go ahead and disable. And I already have mine disabled or checked, ready to be disabled, and I will press next. The unnecessary background applications that are running, such as a USB camera, an audio application, a backup application, or a mouse pad application, if you want those off while you're working, those will be the options to check. And just always make sure the item name and manufacturer and the amount of memory usage it would necessarily be using. So if you wanted to, once you have those selected, you can press next. If you wanted to activate a advanced system care power plan, it would be advisable to do so. However, if you have a balanced plan, you can always check to by going to the control panel, going under power options, and if you have balance, it's good. Or if you wanted to go up to the performance, it's always good to check that one. That way you'll know that you have the top performance. Now, pressing next leads you up to the congratulations area to where you know that you are done. You can press apply the turbo boost will be activated and if you wanted to you can have this turbo boost activate every time you start your computer or if you wanted to only when you need to by not leaving the check so by pressing apply it'll be 
turbo boosted and I have released a proximate 13478 megabits of RAM release and 16 services in all have been disabled. That being said, this program is perfect, the turbo boost function especially. And let's go ahead and move on to the action center. Now, the last tab leads up to other resources that may not be installed currently. One of them will be reviewed in our next review, and that was mentioned in the first part of this video, security category, iOrbit Malware Fighter, um, whose job it is to protect you from malware and other malicious types of programs that may infect your computer or hurt you or your system, such as account information and bank account information. This is by default mentioned that it needs to be fixed, and by fixing it, it'll install itself without you doing anything, and in the performance category we have a program called smart defrag in advanced mobile care 2.0 that is useful for the android only devices such as your smartphone smart defrag is a program that defrags your hard drive and it releases that bottleneck you know experience that you get when you're trying to navigate into the explorer or into your files through you know the system c disk so once you have those two installed it would be best just to go and run them or you can stay tuned and learn how and what they are in my next review in regards to iOrbit malware fighter. So let's go ahead and end this review and this overview. Um, and I'd like to go ahead and point out with all the options that are available, what do you expect to get out of the pro version after paying a decent price varying over the time and year that you actually get it? And if you wanted to, you'd have me ask that and answer it as well. And with my money's worth, I expected my system to be gutted from all the junk uh, that lays waste every day while computing. And that is exactly what I've received since 2008 of using in this product starting with version 4. Moving up to version 6 has only increased my love for this program and it is a must when I install a new operating system which you are seeing right now. This is a very new operating system and if you've seen all the junk that has been scanned with the previous care category you'll notice that there was a lot of junk that needed to be released. This program is easy once you go ahead and get to know it and I hope you stick around for the next video to see how to select the right settings for this to optimize a PC without having to make manually clean your PC every so often. So stay tuned for part two of this overview and stay tuned also for the security side of the review regarding the iOrbit malware fighter. And until next time YouTube, goodbye.